watch a Jaden animation video. Uh, so it's a winter video. It's a skiing trip. Remember me? Do you? It's that Jayden? time of year again. Cold. And I, I already know what you're going to say. Jaden, you live in Arizona. You don't get to be cold. And you're right. The <laughs> people in the rest of the country are trying to shovel three feet of snow out of the car and get to work without slipping off the road. Well, That's only kind of though. is put on a jacket and not turn on the AC. The hottest setting in the shower gets barely not warm enough anymore. That's probably the most inconvenient part of winter here. So I say bravo and tip the hat to all you snow penguins out there who have to bundle up like that little brother in a Christmas story just to go out and get your mail. But just so you know, this only works if you don't tell them about your summers, alright? Well, growing up in Arizona means I haven't really experienced winter. Or cool. any seasons for that matter. Everything's hot. And then everything dies. That's our seasons. I always wanted to be in a place where all the leaves get really pretty and colorful before they die. So anyway, our winter is based more on the holiday sure. seasonal feeling. Personally, my family celebrates Christmas, so instead of thinking of winter as being snowy and all that jazz, I think of it as Christmas trees and pretty lights and really good smelling candles. Like, really good smelling candles. I you don't even have a candles. nose. I like to go into shops like Yankee Candles or Bath and Body Works or any type of candle store just to smell all the candles. Mm. And the titles are so sweet sounding too, like warm vanilla sugar and maple cinnamon pancakes mm, you make and me a hungry. thousand wishes. <laughs> I don't even know what a thousand wishes would smell like, but man does it get me in the jingle mood. Off topic, jingle. some titles aren't good. Like one time I went into the shop and they had a candle called Mantown. Like dude, that doesn't seem like the type of smell that people would want in a candle. Hmm, I'm just so stuck between magical frosted forest and Mantown. And also, mmm, bacon. Mmm, bacon? Come on, candles are supposed to make a room smell good and fresh, not like greasy pig flesh. Ugh! By the yeah, way, I love I smell of bacon. I was not pleasantly surprised. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. We're moving on. So if I wanted to have a genuine white Christmassy winter experience, I have to travel someplace other than where I live. And luckily, I have family that lives in snowy places. My mom's side of the family lives up in Canada, and my dad's sister's family lives over in South Lake Tahoe. Both places are hardcore snow areas. I'll talk about Canada first. It's been a while since I visited my Canada family during winter, which, I mean, makes sense. I normally visit them <laughs> during the summer because compared to Arizona, their weather during that time is freaking perfect. But but one year when I was younger, we visited them for Christmas. It was the first time I got to play in snow, and I had a blast just running around with my cousins. We even made our first snowman. Well, my first snowman. We didn't have a top hat, so we used our grandpa's golf hat, but we forgot about it, and it blew away, and we never found it. Sorry, Grandpa, I hope you forgive us. Rest in peace. Golf hat. Overall, that winter was Damn really great. 10 out of 10. Stole his hat. White Christmas in Canada again. Now let's talk about South Lake Tahoe. My parents really like skiing, and Tahoe is a great place to do that. Like, everyone there loves winter. Everyone. You're not allowed to not like it if you live there. My the old John Snows. The crazy stuff like jump out of helicopters and barrel down snowy mountains and say gnarly. Props to them, they're really cool. So we visit them maybe once every year or two for a couple days to ski and stuff. I get kind of nervous with skiing, but it's still really enjoyable. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you get throughout the day. Just do the pizza french fry thing and you're good. But I didn't bring up skiing in Lake Tahoe for no reason here. Most times we visited were really awesome, but one year was traumatic. I was maybe 10 or so. We were all skiing together, everything was good, it was a nice day of pleasant winter fun. Near the end, we decided to do one last run before we head back. My dad, yes, my dad, I've seen a few comments saying, Jaden, you haven't talked about your dad before, is there some deep depressing story behind that? No, you're just looking too much into it. He's right here. My dad. So my dad takes my younger brother Jax and me to go on one last hill, and while we were waiting in line, I looked up at the mountain and thought, uh, this trail seems a little big Fuck that. the others we've gone on today. But being a naive little kid, I didn't say anything because I just trusted that my dad knew what he was doing. We got to the front and we were waiting for the lift to sweep us up. And I noticed this chalkboard that said, Advanced Trail! Just look at it! And that made me go, hmm, even more. Dad, that chalkboard says advance. Whoop, too late now. We were sitting on the ski lift, and it seemed like it was taking forever to get to the end. 
hint because it was. Our dad ended up accidentally taking us to the very top of the mountain. Like, the runs we were on during the day were beginner and intermediate ones at the base. We went to the very top. And yes, to all you ski snowboard language people, it was labeled a double black diamond. The iconography for trails goes easy, intermediate, expert, you will die if you go on here as a child. Well, shoot, I looked down at the hill and it was almost vertical downward death with a bunch of moguls. Moguls are those intense snow bumps that pros go over. Cool. What in the world do you expect from us? Also, turns out the trail is literally called The Wall. Beautiful. My dad realized he made a mistake and was in the middle of trying to figure out what we should do when suddenly my brother just starts going. Like, he just <laughs> starts going straight down the mountain. And my dad starts freaking out and screaming at him, FALL! FALL! Because that's what you're supposed to do to slow down when you're going that fast. You can't really do anything else. So my dad's screaming, FALL! FALL! And my brother, as he's going sonic down this freaking mountain, he eventually does and starts doing this sprawled spinning motion. Like, imagine <laughs> if you took a starfish and frisbeed it. I think that's a good visual representation. <laughs> he does start slowing down and people on the hill go to help him. So you think that's scary? Imagine what I was thinking during that time. Hello? I just watched my brother starfish down this mountain, and now it's literally my turn. Nowhere to go but down. Like, what? What? That's like the ultimate stuck. As I was preparing my last thoughts until imminent disaster, a nice bystander came up to me and said, Here, we're gonna get you down from here. Let me help you. I end up inching down this freaking wall of a mountain on my butt and skis with this stranger helping me. It must have looked really weird if you were just skiing by. Like, what the what? Why is there a little girl on this trail? And why did she have the look of childhood trauma in her eyes? Eventually, we got to the bottom safely. It took a long time. My brother was alright, too. My uncle actually caught up to him, and Jax got to stand on his skis and pretty much be escorted down. And I remember being really jealous because I had to tough it out and go down manually while he basically got a free ride. After it all, my parents were like, Oh, we're so sorry, oh my gosh, but oh, you did so well! <laughs> We're so proud you got through it. But I was really mad. My dad wanted to get his shirts from the gift shop that said, I survived the wall. But I was too salty to want anything. So yeah, that was... Salty. We were actually lucky not to have gotten really hurt or anything. Like, I literally... So yeah, that was Jaden Animation's video. It was alright. It's nicely animated. You have a nice voice. Literally anything I say just sounds creepy. I'll be like, hi, you look very nice today. And people go, would you fucking want my money? What? 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 So yeah, so yeah, nice animated. Keep doing what you're doing. Bye. Bye. Jaden.